Talking business now, car dealers in Lagos have accused the Nigerian Customs Service of frustrated legitimate trade as the clamp down on their businesses' premises enters the second week. The Customs Service has been sailing off car marts across the country over allegations that they are in possession of smuggled vehicles. TVC News correspondent Ifenaya Eze has details in this report. The Nigeria Customs Service has alleged that a great number of the vehicles in the country are smuggled. The service embarked on a nationwide car shops raid to uncover vehicles without proper duty payment and those that were smuggled through the land borders. Explaining customs action, the National Public Relations uh, Officer stated pay, that the aim of the exercise was to compel the 14 car dealers to make proper duty payments. For those who are motor dealers, uh, all vehicles in their camats that uh, duties have not been paid, uh, a reprieve has been given that they can uh, pay appropriate uh, customs duty and uh, regularize their documentations and continue their businesses. The sealer has been lingering for one week and these car dealers are describing the action as clear intimidation. They are questioning customs morale standing on the issue of car smuggling and duty payment. They say there are smuggled cars in Lagos. There's that most of the cars will have that there's no duty on them. But the question I keep asking them who are the people in charge of this duty payment and who are the people mounting the gate at the border and even at the port? There are customs and each, if I open my custom, uh, all the custom papers I have here, each custom paper have an officer with an officer or with an official number and name that clear those containers. And if you know that the car is not well cleared, you go and arrest the officer who cleared the car because their name are there. Why would I give you money and then I see a different amount in the paper and what I paid you is different? Who's to be blamed? There are officers there, their duty is to check your car, and once your car is clear, that is why they have a sticker. What it means is that the duty, that sticker on it, written Lagos, shows that your car did not come from the border in the first place, and it shows that you are coming out from the wharf. How can a car come out from the Apapa Gate wharf, and you are saying it does not have an exit? Who exited that car? Who is on duty? They don't trust themselves that they did the right thing or paid, collected the right duty and released the vehicle. They shouldn't be our own problem because they assess. They assess the duty and you pay. And if you don't pay what they assessed, you can't leave the port. Now, it's for them to come and say again you didn't pay well, I wonder whom they are blaming. Is it the man that has cleared the good or the man that released it or the man that uh, gave him the assessment? Customs has said that the raiding will not stop until car smugglers do this from sabotaging the economy. But the porosity of Nigeria's land borders will continue to challenge these efforts. Ifunanya Eze. TVC News, Lagos.